What's up guys, Celestra here again, bringing you an update to one of the games that's came to Game Pass. So for any of you who haven't played this game, Resident Evil 2, you obviously won't have the 1000G or 1070 that comes from it. But there is a way to get double that amount from Game Pass. So if you have Ultimate, I, I think it only works with Ultimate because I don't believe the core one has the same impact. But basically, you can see I've got all the achievements here. Which I got quite a while ago when the game came out because I'm a huge Resi fan. But with this Game Pass trick, you can actually get the Biohazard version, which is, for those of you who don't know, Biohazard is Resident Evil in Japan. And here it's Resident Evil, and that's why for Resident Evil 7 they did Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, kind of combining the two. But you can actually get the Japanese version from Game Pass as well, so I'm going to show you how to do that, which will get you another 1070 gamer score. And I love this game, so I'm 100% doing this trick. You can actually do it for a few games. Evil Within is one of them as well, so I'm going to show you how to do it now. So what you do is you go into your settings, you go down to system, and you go to language and location. You don't need to change your language, just the location. So change your location to Japan, and you'll be able to get the Japanese biohazard Resident Evil game. So just set it to Japan. It needs a restart, so a quick restart, and then I'll show you what happens. And there we go, once it boots back up, you just go to your library for Game Pass again. So it will be one of the most recent titles, recently added, you'll be able to see it here. So go into recently added on Game Pass, you'll see Resident Evil 2 and you'll also see Resident Evil, well, Biohazard, right there next to it. So Biohazard RE2, Z version or Z version. So what you want to do is you click on it and you go into the store. Also that's the the ready option for Cycle Break, which is Evil Within in Japan. I've also downloaded that because I love Evil Within. But go into Game Pass, click on this, show in the Microsoft Store, and then it'll take you to the page where you download it. And there you go, you see it here. So you've got install with Game Pass, just install it like you normally would. Wait until it's installed, and then this will come up like you can see here. There you go, once it's installed, it'll be on your page, as you can see it next to my Cycle Break. Anytime you switch back to the Japanese region, it'll kind of have the games next to each other here. And then Biohazard RE2 Z version. Load it up, kind of just goes through the normal process. So it shows the Japanese logos, all the characters and stuff. And then it just goes through in English. And you can set the display language in English, voice language English, set your audio output how you normally would, skip past all this stuff, and then I'll show you exactly the achievement list that you see. So if you guys are a huge RE nut like me, this will be amazing because you're getting more achievements for playing the same game that you love. And I played the hell out of this game when it first came out. So skip past all this and then you'll be in the main menu part, which is here. And you pick whichever scenario you want. And here's the achievement list. So all these achievements that you can get, 1070 gamer score for the same game that you've already played. And RE2 is a banger of a game. So if you want 2000 and 2140 gamer score, you can do this trick and get both of them done. They're not, they're not really hard to complete. But then again, that's coming from an RE nut like myself who plays these games all the time. But go ahead, get the 2140 gamer score. And yeah, have a blast with the game. It's a great game. I'll see you guys in the next achievement video. Leave a like, share the video, etc. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.